Mikey. Ah, uh, yes. Please. All right. Um, take us away. You are entering the trivia Thunderdome. Team one, Cam, Emily, and Jacob. I need a team name from you to refer to you as, because I'm going to alternate teams who get the question first. What's that dog's name? Uh, wrinkles. wrinkles. Done. Team Wrinkles. Yeah. Team Wrinkles. Does that come uh, with everybody? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, team Organized. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Team Wrinkles is going to go first. <clears throat> um, question one. By the way, this this is called the Impossible Movie Quiz, but I actually brought it a few uh, difficulty levels down when mm. I was like, no, no one could do this. Uh, hopefully <laughs> this is... More in line. All right. Question one. Which movie was released first? A. Jurassic Park. B. Interview with a Vampire. Mm. C. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Or D. Free Willy. Oh, these are all from the same time period. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was either Free Willy or um, Jurassic Park. As far as I remember. I think it's the interview. I'm leaning towards interview. I, I understand I'm biased. I think interview was like 94, 95. Although this might have all been the same year. I, w I want to say that I remember seeing Jurassic Park in theater when I was a little too young to see Jurassic Park in theater. Okay. Like just slightly under. So yeah, well, what I'm do you guys think? No, you gotta lock in your answer first. You have to lock yeah. in your uh, answer. Oh. So I, I, the reason I'm thinking interview with the vampire is I think Kirsten Dunst is about my age, or within a year or two, mm -hmm. and, and she was she super was cheesy. Eight. Yeah. When that was filmed, hmm. which makes it 32 years ago. Okay. Which puts it early 90s, 1991. I'm thinking it's interview. Okay. So we're locked in interview with the vampire. Okay. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm asking if that's okay. Yes. Yes. That's been very recent. Organized. Interview with the vampire was my gut instinct first. I was like, I think it might be interview with the vampire, but I'm gonna keep quiet and see what they say. I'm unfortunately too young to have a really good gut instinct on this one, so I'm gonna go with interview. Well, I'm like Cameron. I saw Jurassic Park because my dad was like, Hey, do you guys, do you guys want to go to a movie one mm -hmm. day? And I was like, yes. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, me and my very young sister got to go to Jurassic Park to an empty theater. And it ruled, but mm. we were way too young to have seen that movie. It was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to allow Kathleen to double box this as interview. Well, I would not double box this. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to say I think I'm going with my instinct of, I don't know, interview with a vampire. So that your team is agreeing to interview? Yeah. Sure. Both teams are incorrect. Everything Cam said was 100% accurate. Wow. Uh, interview came out in 94, by the way. Jurassic Park and Free Willy, one came out in June, Jurassic Park, and the other one came out in July, Free Willy. Uh, I remember that one specifically because when Jura the day Jurassic, Jurassic Park came out, I was seeing the Super Mario Brothers movie two weeks late. Mm. And every person at my school was in line, and they're like, hey, come get in line with us. And I'm like, no, I got to... Go to a different movie. It really isn't scary to me. Uh, but and I, Nightmare was 95? No, 94. 94. Wow. Yeah, okay. Or no, wait. Nightmare was October 13th, 1993. That's really oh, cool. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. all right. So zero points all around. We're going to start with Team Organized okay. on number two. By the way, these will ratchet up in difficulty. That that was the easy one, FYI. Oh, no. Great. Um, <laughs> number two. <laughs> Which of the following is not a movie starring Polly Shore? Ooh. Okay. A. Phantom of the Mall, colon, Eric's Revenge. B. Pororo 5, Treasure Island Adventure. C. In the Army Now, comma, again. D. The Junior Defenders. These movies exist? Three of them do. Okay, I remember that Polly Shore has been in a movie called, like, In the Army Now or something like that. Yes. So, is it inexplicably they didn't come back to do the sequel? Or it's a made-up sequel. That's true. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm so lost. I've, I've got no... Can you give us the options one more time? Yes, of course. 
Oh wait, sorry. I I will reread the options as long as the other team also okay's rereading the options. Yes. Yeah, of course. Just making sure. All right. A. Phantom of the Mall. Eric's Revenge. B. Pororo Five. Treasure Island Adventure. C. In the Army Now. Again. D. The Junior Defenders. The Junior Defenders sounds so fake. That sounds like kind of rural juror kind of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. They all kind of do. I um, I am split between that and the wily answer you initially said, where the sequel doesn't feature him. Well, because for a while, Polly Shore was doing very well. In a very, you know, he did Encino Man. He did a, a, the Dome movie, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, and then, you know, so maybe I could see, like, that he didn't end up coming back for the sequel. I don't know. I want there to be a world in which in which Polly Shore turned down a role in a sequel movie because the script wasn't up to snuff. <laughs> That's the world I want to live in, too. I, I have absolutely no knowledge of Polly Shore movies at all. Uh, That's a reasonable. <laughs> That's an IMDb page I've never studied. No. Uh, I did this morning. <laughs> I, I will go with, defer to you, Kathleen. Oh, no. If, if you think it's, I like your reasoning of In the Army again. Could we just say we're picking it because it's funny? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're picking that. You're picking C, for, In the Army Now again. Yeah, yes. for humor. All right. Team, I forgot what your name is. Wrinkles. Wrinkles. Team Wrinkles. Okay. Uh, my reasoning on this, I actually agree with Kathleen that in the army now again uh sounds like an extremely low effort sequel direct to video and paulie shore just was like you know what no i i already made one of these i want 10 grillion dollars to be in the sequel mm. um grillion and you know unless i get my unless i get my little demands made i'm not going to show up guy um i kind of want to see Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, where Polly so. Shore yeah. plays the Phantom of the Opera, set in an early in mall. 90s mall. Yeah. yeah. I think I that sounds atrocious Hilarious. and like... Amusing. Yeah, I mean, I can feel the years of life I would lose, mm. and I'm for that experience. Yeah, I mean, we might get to die a little sooner if we watch that movie. Yeah, and the I Junior mean? Defenders sounds like a, something that would have been made in the mid-80s, like a Disney Channel superhero movie with like a nine-year-old Polly Shore that maybe would have been shown on like, I don't know, one of those, the weekly Disney special that was on Sunday. I mean, you know, I, along I with Flight of the Navigator. Yeah. That, that feels like yep. what that would have been. I, so your answer is? Uh, in the Army Now Again. So both which sounds teams... like such a phoned in title as well. It does. What do yeah. we call this one? I don't even know. Let's just put in again as for a placeholder now. And, and I will say I agree because I was raised in a very conservative religious household and I was strictly forbidden from watching anything with Polly Shore in it. Mm. <laughs> also, I saw In the Army Now at a friend's sleepover. <laughs> I did too. It licked out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so both teams are answering C in the army now again. Yes. Both teams are correct, though, for faulty reasoning, which is the best thing about this quiz. Yeah. That's okay. not a movie at all. Okay. The yeah. other three are, including you nailed the Junior Defenders one from space. Uh, Polly Shore is an adult in it, but it's a movie about kids. It's like a now and again, or now and oh, then, or whatever, okay. but are like kids. Like famous superhero kids, and then them as failure people, like sort of after. That's what that movie's about. All right, was so ever, one point each. If he was ever in a detective movie, you could call it Poly Noir. Yup. All right. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> going to Team Wrinkles. Which of these is a movie starring Ryan Reynolds? A. The Danger Job. B. Bolt neck, C, absconding from a career, or D, Jerry's Pizza. Could you read those again, please? Yes, of course. A, the danger job. B, bolt neck, all one word. C, absconding from a career, or D, Jerry's Pizza. Is starring? Is. So which one of those four movies 
Is starring Ryan Reynolds. Not co-starring, but he has a leading role in it? Uh, or just well, features he's in it. acted yeah, yeah. Okay. in? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because like, I feel like a bad British Columbian in that I'm not sure I've ever seen anything with Ryan Reynolds in it. I'm... That shows him specifically because he's Canadian. <laughs> right. Why would you think that means we would support him? <laughs> he's just really good at disappearing into the roles, you know? Yeah. So, um, okay. I love Ryan Reynolds. Yes. All right. Very much. That's yeah. good for us. If I ever met Ryan Reynolds, I don't get starstruck. Mm -hmm. Ryan Reynolds would destroy me. I Yeah, I don't mean to diss Ryan Re Ryan if you're watching right now. Yeah, we know uh, you are. Give us yeah. Hey, pour yourself an aviation gin, gin. and have yourself a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get, pick up the phone, call us on Mint, which is, yeah, for sure isn't that. available in Canada. Um, so I believe, I think, I think, I'm not coming to be an expert, I'm just going to be thirsty. Um, I think it's the danger job. Okay. I think so too, because I recall vaguely seeing something that I looked at and went, well, that's a title. Yes. And it's just facetious enough. Yes. Um, so when I heard it again, I'm like, that's a title and it's kind of facetious. I'm like, oh, wait. Yeah. So I, so I think it's the danger job. Okay. Okay. Agreement. All right. So team okay. organized. That was what I was going to say. <laughs> well, because here's the thing. The danger job is basically the Ryan Reynolds movie oeuvre, right? Like, he's like, yeah. he's a really handsome guy who's pretty funny and gets in over his head and has to make some wisecracks and be surprisingly physical in the role, but be charming doing it. And then, you know, so the danger job is like the kind, like, you know, that he, a lot of his movies could have been called that, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like, what I get from Ryan Reynolds is that he has the exact look of the guy you knew in high school who was a little doofy, and then you meet him at the reunion and you're like, what the hell happened? Yeah, glow and then, up central. Yeah, right and then there. he takes his shirt off and you're like, what? No way. Yeah. No. Put your shirt back on. We're at a reunion. Yeah. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. What were the other three second. options, Mikey? Uh, a, danger job. B, bolt neck. C, absconding from a career. D, Jerry's Pizza. I, absconding from a career is, I just... That sounds like a... That, that it, sounds like his Twilight of the Sunset, or Sunset of the... Whatever the Jim Carrey movie was that was long. Internal Sunshine. Internal Sunshine. Sun, that's that's it. Thank yeah. you very much. Aphasia mm -hmm. was just like, ah, uh, word salad. Yeah. It does, Michelle it does sound like something that might have been in his two weeks notice era. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like the one that jumped out to me was Boltnik, and I don't know why. I feel like that would be the kind of movie that sounds like the kind of movie Ryan Reynolds would have been in when he was like a kid. Yeah, before he had the glow up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could see him no. voice acting in Bolt, but yeah, Bolt no. Nat, I'm not certain about it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, the last yeah. time, we, I don't know. I feel like they have good reasoning, but I don't really care. Yeah, like I is, mean, we gotta win. Is Bolt Neck the Frankenstein, like, sawn off remake where, you know, in Frankenstein, when he, he sees the little girl throwing uh, flowers into the, into the pond, and the monster is like, Oh, I get how this works, and yeets the little girl into the pond. <laughs> was Ryan Reynolds the child in Boltnack? Okay, let's say Boltnack. Yeah, sure. Okay, so Boltnick. your team is saying Boltnack. Mm -hmm. Your team just got a point. Oh! Two, two, one. Good job, Erica. What movie was I thinking of where he, like, I mean, this is probably 18 Ryan Reynolds movies. No, but... I chose the, I made up the other three. The danger job was just like, Name a movie that sounds like a something Ryan. Like you guys nailed that part, but, yeah. but you should have been there like, "Oh, Mikey made this up." Yeah, yeah. there was a movie I don't before people Red to be Notice, devious. or he like. Oh, did a uh, by the way, thing. the internet knows. I'm sure Chad is talking about. It. I am extremely devious as a quiz quizmaster. I am not on your team. Okay. Um, Excellent. Good. Two to one. To Back show. to you got your team first. Mm -hmm. This one's slightly easier. Ooh. Only two options. Okay. True or false? To this day, James Cameron's Avatar has made more money internationally than Avengers Endgame. True. 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 Mm. I feel like they made a big deal out of this. I know, like.
Did a movie finally pass it? I think I don't think Avengers Endgame did it. I think I think it's Avatar because Avatar is uh, doesn't isn't saying enough specific things to get banned in any countries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, like when um, the international market is much more robust now than it was when Avatar originally came out. That's true. Like the Chi mm -hmm. particularly the Chinese cinema market has exploded over the last few years and stuff like the Avengers movie are very popular over there. So I could see specifically in the international market it having been more of a success than Avatar. But my gut still tells me it's Avatar. I want people love that movie. I want to say Avatar as well because Avengers and it's their team right now. Oh. Well, we're done. We're, we, we, oh, we're okay. settled. Yeah, I, I, thought that was, I thought that oh, was right, locked right, in. Okay. Yes, we're locked. I want to say Avatar because um, that movie was nothing, and people would just like go and see Avatar. Right? Mm -hmm. There was no assumed knowledge going into right, it. Like right. Avengers, you're like, well, I haven't seen all the the. The, I haven't seen the 45 movies that predate this. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't really know what the dynamic is between Captain America and, and Widowmaker. I have no context for what's going on here. Whereas Avatar, you're just like... No oh, blue people. Yeah, you would walk into Avatar and walk out of Avatar having the exact same level of knowledge about Avatar. <laughs> right? Don't obtain you've got it! Yeah, because like, it just glances off the surface of your brain, yeah. Yeah. hitting the dopamine <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, it get, uh, ejector. It gets stuck in zero wrinkles. Yeah. 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 Add it out of Michelle Rodriguez and put more science stuff around. Boom. She was Boy. in that movie? I Wasn't saw she? that movie. I'm pretty sure <laughs> in that movie. Yeah, I, she's like the helicopter pilot. Oh, yeah. Uh, all I remember is they made the the dumb brother from, Phoebe's dumb brother from Friends, like a military scientist guy. Giovanni yeah. Verbisi. There you go. Yeah, that's and then, that's like, what I remember. It also had the dweebiest power armor I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah, there's like, I forgot. Open Head power armor, man. Yeah. But it also had kind of the raddest spaceship that was in like six seconds of film. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really liked the spaceship, but the power armor, I was like, man, I forgot. Cameron, so you guys are going just, with wait, wait. true or false. We're all going true, I'm, sorry. I, I'm I think, looking around confused because I walked out of it. Can I ask a quick question? Everybody here who's seen Avatar, raise your hand. Well, I mean, seen? Okay, bought a yeah. ticket too. Yeah, bought a oh. ticket too. Technically we watched it at home and we stopped okay. after about okay. 40 minutes. So everyone who's seen Avatar, raise your hands. Okay, and in engineering, if you've seen it. Okay, engineering both have now everyone who's seen Avengers Endgame. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just me and Cameron, I guess. Multiple times. Ooh, multiple times. I definitely oh. only saw uh, it. I know what my stuck in the elevator pitch is, is explaining all of the Avenger dynamics leading up to Endgame. Oh no. Yeah, Carry what's, on. what's funny is both of you got it correct again. It is now three to two. Yes. Mm. Um again for sort of you were closest for like uh, Avatar actually did drop out of the number one spot for a period, but mm -hmm. because leading up to the sequel, oh, they re-released it, yes, re-released it, and they kicked it back over the top. All right, number five. Yes, team. Uh, team wrinkles. Yes. The most expensive movie of all time is a Justice League. B, Avengers, Age of Ultron, C, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, D, Avengers Endgame. It's gotta be the Justice League one. That was the one they reshot, yeah. right? I'm, and rewrote. I do yeah. think that that, however, I would like to know, are these adjusted for inflation or are we just going off base value? These are not adjusted. Thank you. Okay. They're probably Justice League. I'm gonna go with Justice League because mm -hmm. of all the rewrites, reshoots, uh, two different versions. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because yeah, the it, it, like they they made a movie and then they got Joss Whedon to like rewrite it halfway through. They were like doing Avengers, and he's like, "What if I don't care?" Yeah, yeah. like, and then they did the Snyder cut. So that yep. had to have been like, I don't know, yeah. four or five trillion dollars. My <laughs> boy, I want to. I almost want to say Stranger Tides because of all the water involved. Whenever you put water in a movie, it's a lot of money. Hmm. Um, but I'm gonna. I think. I think the safe answer is Justice League. Well, with all the recuts and the reshoots and the Snyder cut and everything. Before yeah. we lock in, is Justice League actually the film we're thinking of? 
<laughs> yes. Not the animated one. Okay. But like the I just want to make sure yeah, like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're like, thinking of the correct one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't yeah. want to be in a situation where we're like, yeah, uh, Avengers 2, The Age of Ultron, you know, the one where they walk through all the portals and then they fight, <laughs> the, right. yeah, yeah, they fight Thanatos at the end and he snaps. That's Thanatos. that's the one we're all thinking about, they right? They fight the Horsemen of Death at the end. Yeah, yep. the right? Greek Okay, God. okay, but we are, okay. Justice League is the yes. one with the Justice Snyder Justice all right. Okay. Yep. Team we're in. organized. So I heard uh -huh. something is tickling in the back of my brain that low-key on Stranger Tides became absolutely ridiculously expensive. Because you have to think, who's in Justice League? A bunch of people that are basically on, are basically like not A-list actors, but who is in Stranger Tides? With Johnny Depp, you had Legolas, uh, you had uh, Orlando Bloom, you had Keira Knightley, all at the top of their like acting careers at this point. Mm -hmm. You had Bill Nighy in it, mm -hmm. uh, who honestly mm. probably wasn't being paid enough. Uh, uh, As he, he, he never is, did really. He, did you not have Keith Richards doing a cameo as, as Jack Sparrow's dad in was that it movie? Was that one? So, yeah. Mm. They, like, yeah, and I think it was just really expensive. And yeah, it's it's, as passed. Jacob said, it's very expensive to film with water because it's yeah. an absolute pain in the ass. That is that is the one that, like, of those three, it's like, yeah, those are those are big movies I would expect to be there. That is the one that sticks out as being like, that's weird. That's a weird thing to include on the list, which kind of makes me think that that would be, that you're right. And, yeah. Well, I just thought of something. The other three have a lot of green screen footage. A lot of green screen footage. A lot screen of green footage. screen, a lot of will add it in post. And we know that everybody who works on the special effects are criminally underpaid. Uh -huh. But you have to do practical effects, which are so, so, so expensive yeah. for yeah. like ships and boats. Like, I'm not saying there wasn't green screen, but there was water involved. Yeah. We're going to say uh, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. God, I hope yeah. I'm not wrong. You are correct. It is oh, four to two. Yes. Um, we are good at this. Funny uh, sort of side note. Do you know what the most expensive Avengers movie ever made was? Avengers. Specifically Just Avengers? The first one? Nope. Age of Ultron? Yup. Yeah. The second one. I don't know why, because the third and fourth one, they're like the biggest movies ever that have the most actors in them. Mm -hmm. uh, but Marvel underpays their people. Yeah, I said it. Uh, but yeah, Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides was unbelievably expensive to shoot. Is One of the reasons Kathleen said. Really? It was everyone's, like, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, Johnny Depp, I think, got a cold 50 for that. Um, and he didn't even have to memorize his lines. I think they just, like, <laughs> had a earpiece in, and they would just say him. Wow. Actually, which one was on Stranger Tides? Is that, that the second like or the third? That's it's the fourth or fifth. <laughs> fifth, I think. I have, I have no, no idea. Dead were. Man Tell No Tales is the fourth one? I don't know. On a uh, side note there, Bill Nye really likes a very specific jukebox in a cafe in Victoria. Oh. He showed up at knitting night once. Well, there you go. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah. Oh. Well, if you ever see him again, tell him I really liked him in Arcadia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't meet them that often anymore. I think COVID. this will be one that Cam's going to nail from space, but you got to wait for them to answer because this is number six. All right. Who started the first ever film studio? A. George Melies. B. Thomas Edison. C. Edwin Tannhauser. Or D. Al Christie. Wow. I don't think Edison. I was going to say Edison. <laughs> like, Great. not only. He, he invented. Mm, the technology, but he also was heavily involved in actually producing a lot of stuff. I don't know if he started a studio per se. I think he was too busy to manage a studio. Well, personally. I mean, but he could have founded a studio and let other people do it. I have no idea. I feel like I've not heard of like the number one and number four, so maybe who, them. Who was? Can you read the uh, answer? The answers again? Yes. A. George Melies. B. Thomas Edison, C. Edwin Tannhauser, or D. Al Christie. Tannhauser. Who's Edwin Tan? I. I don't actually recognize the other three people. No. At all. I, so. I want to say like the French name because it was the French that started a lot of photography. Technology That's true. Originally. Yeah, yeah, there was there was a huge French cinema movement, but. Were they I, first? But did they have, and like the studio system, at least as I understand it, was a very specific thing, like a very specific American thing. Ah. Uh, you can always now, now, do you mean like 
just the first place we make films or like that first organized film studio? First organized monetary film studio. Like that is budgeting pictures and you know, producing mm -hmm. them and all that. That's important clarification, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't think it's Edison then. Okay. Because I think when we're getting to the modern, the organized film studio, it's not like, look at what we've invented. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's like, okay, we've got the invention. Let's, how do we make money? Yes. Okay. Right? So that's my instinct, that Edison was not necessarily involved in like organizing a film studio to make money. That was something other people would have done. Okay. So, Milieu. Milius. Milius. Tannhauser. Tannhauser or Christie. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Christie of the Agatha books? No. <sighs> um, you know what? There's some. Th th there's a thing tickling in my brain. In a good way? Well. In, in the same way that Stranger Tides tickled my brain? What? Maybe a little this is, okay, go with me on this journey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the name Tannhauser, the one, as soon as I heard that, the one thing that jumped out to me was the line from Blade Runner. Where it oh. mentions the Tannhauser Gate. That's the kind of thing they'd reference in Blade Runner. That is exactly the kind of thing I think they would reference. The the founder of a film studio. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna say Tannhauser. What she said. Okay. Okay. Good answer. All right. Okay. Team Wrinkles. Melies made uh, from the Earth to the Moon. A trip right. to the moon. Yeah, a trip to the moon. Right. Uh, that that entire look. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was God. Was that even twentieth century? It was early 20th century if it was, but um, this is where my film history just completely like fails me. Um, I Edison, I would believe, started a film studio. He was much more business oriented than... I appreciate that you're looking at me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be no help. Tannhauser and Christie, I don't know. All right. I'm not familiar yeah, with it. Something tickling my brain saying Christie, though. Um, although, I don't know if Melier was... I think he was more of an artiste. I'll I'll bet my future on a brain tickle. I'm gonna go with Christy. Yeah. I'm right, holding Christy. a stuffy so that I can hug something because I'm All competent. Right. This okay. team says Christy, you said Tannhauser? Tannhauser. Yeah. It's Thomas Edison. Wow! Oh, no. And not only that, George Melies screened movies that he shot for Thomas, uh, for Thomas Edison to like uh, uh, distribute for him. Mm -hmm. And instead of oh. like making a deal and doing stuff, Thomas Edison just stole them, and showed them, and profited off of them. He just stole movies. Yep. Oh, that okay, that's Thomas Edison. Yeah, that's Thomas yeah, Edison. The Thomas answer is always Thomas Edison because Thomas Edison Edison's sucked. Stuck. Yeah, he stole yeah. everything. We yeah. Talk, yeah, we like, talked ourselves out of Edison. Yeah. I know it was amazing to watch. <laughs> the Tannhauser thing was amazing because that is Edwin Tannhauser is the guy. I don't know if that's why Blade Runner did it, but mm. I had the same thought this morning, and I yeah. was like, definitely taking that one. Ah. Uh, so I put that in there because Ooh. of that, and it worked. I thought right. he'd be too busy stealing inventions from Nikolai Tesla to run a film studio. <laughs> oh. Well, he's got a lot of different industries to steal from. Nice. He's uh, got number a lot of seven, fingers and a lot of pockets. Back yeah. to, I almost called you Captain Wrinkles, Team Wrinkles. Number seven. We can, we can take a promotion. <laughs> no. Captain Marvel, the first female-led superhero movie for Marvel Studios was their blank release. A, 17th. B, 19th. C, 14th. Or D, 21st. Clarification. Yeah. Are we talking about feature films or are we talking about the shorts? Feature films. Theatrically too? released feature films. God, okay. there's We're... been a hojillion of these things. I want to say 21st just because, like, there's so many of them. They just keep, they just don't stop they happening. They keep happening. I was thinking like 19th because I always confuse about when it came out with respect to Avengers Endgame. Are we counting Incredible Hulk? Uh, wait. Like Edward, the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk. Yeah, that's the okay. first one. Because it was that then Iron Man, right? Yep. I'm not sure which order, but yeah, they came out around the same time. Iron Man was first. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah, because then he's in the end scene of Bob. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Because I don't watch in credit sequences anymore. Because <laughs> I have a life and things to do. 
You have a theater to get out of. Yeah, I'll watch it on Disney Plus later. I don't care. I had to clean the theater. Also, uh, a lot of times lately it's just Charlize Theron showing up and be like, I'm here, and I'm like, who are you? That really happened. I still, to this day, do not know who What happened at the end of Doctor do Strange? Was that Doctor Strange? Or? Yes, Doctor Madness. Strange Multiverse oh, okay. of Madness. Which movie, I, you know, I... I oh, because Harry Styles that. showed up in the other one. Yeah, yeah. Eternals, yeah. yeah. The Expendable. I, I liked Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It was, it was fun. good. It was directed by Sam Raimi, and you can tell that I enjoyed the, that. Yes. Numbers again, please. Uh, A, 17th. B, 19th. C, 14th. D, 21st. I think it's B. B? 19. 19? Yeah. Okay. Locking like in 19. Let's lock in 19. Team organized. All right. Kathleen, I have a question Hold for you. Yeah. yeah. High enough for um, you, you chat with Heather sometimes about, you know, YouTube stuff. Yeah. Uh, what are the numbers for Countdown to Infinity? Oh, I don't know. Um, but here's the deal. <laughs> I, uh, before Mikey gave us the options, my brain was like, it's 21, Kathleen. You read this on Jezebel eight oh. years ago. You, and I was like, and then he went through it. I was like, well, I guess it's not 21. Well, it's certainly not 21. It's definitely not 21. Now he's gone down to 14. The last one was 21. I was like, oh, it's that one. Okay, 21. All right, 21. Correct again. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah! yeah! It is five missing? to two, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can recover at this no, point. No, I don't think so either. Uh, I don't know why you're glaring at me. I just agree. No, with I'm, her. I'm looking at the boxes above your head. Okay, great. That that question was in there just to like side eye Disney a little bit. Twenty one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Number eight starts with team organized. Last oh. question. True or false? Steven Seagal has been nominated for a Razzie nine times and an Oscar one time. Has Steven Seagal been ever nominated for an Oscar is the important thing, because I definitely believe the Razzies. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, True or false, Steven Seagal's been nominated for an Oscar. What would he... I feel like there's probably... I'm trying to think. A production credit, maybe? maybe. Yeah, like, is there a like a writing credit? Like, something like that. Like, a writing credit or... Um, something that he just, like... Somehow ended up with an Oscar nomination. Is there uh, an, is there one for stunt coordination? <laughs> there are, uh, no, famously there is not. No, and uh, the stunt not. people are very upset about it. They yes, should get one of those. Support yeah. your stunt performers. Oh they literally Academy. risk their lives for you. Yeah. They well, make your movies way better. Yeah. yeah. Ask Jack. Kind of criminal that yeah, Johnny Knoxville never won an Oscar. It's, it's kind of criminal that they that cut the Robert. editing Oscars from the broadcast, even though editing is literally one of the most important parts of movie making. Yeah. yeah. Jackie Chan as a whole stunt company is one of the few that actually offers health insurance. Like, that's grim. Good for, yep. good, good, good for him and his employees. Mm -hmm. Well, probably because he Crappy works for stunt else. Man, So yeah. he understands. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Man, I wonder how the Academy Awards uh, don't look like um, complete dog bus after dissing the technical awards every year like that. <laughs> um, okay, so, do we think he was nominated for an Oscar? I don't know. Um, I think the important part of this question is how many Razzies he's gotten, oh. and that's why it was included, because it's a fun little uh, tip of the hat to him. Oh. I don't think the number of more reputable you think uh, are he you saying the Razzies are a reputable organization? So, are you saying that you think he was, he has been nominated for one Oscar and like seven Razzies? Or 11 Razzies. Yeah. Huh. I don't believe it. Overall, my my gut feeling is false. Yeah, my, mine too. Yes. Yeah, we've done, we've done really well with gut feelings. Yes, yeah. let's go with yeah. false. Yeah, false. Okay. I want to put this out there, guys. I think we should go false uh -huh. because they have strong feelings about false and they're clearly kicking our butts here. <laughs> <laughs> and know way more about this than we do. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I mean, I agree with Matt's reasoning that I, I would be prepared to believe that Steven Seagal was nominated for one Oscar for like, I don't know, something. Something similar. It was a lean year. Yeah. <laughs> he put in a competent performance Maybe in an entertaining fact. movie. Thirteen Maybe. Razzies. Yeah, but yeah. he has in fact been yeah, he yeah. has in fact been nominated for the Razzie eighty seven times. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> right? It's just like off by a full order of magnitude. Yeah. Yeah. You are also saying false. Yeah. False, yeah. Yet again, correct for the wrong reasons. Uh, <laughs> He has been nominated for a Razzie nine times. Oh! No Oscar. Oh. Oh. So final score was six to six three. three. Yes. Six to three. three. That, yeah. well that one hundred percent felt like a uh, Mikey wants to share fun trivia about how many Razzies he's gotten. <laughs> oh, I, th I I think Holly Berry is the only person to accept one in person. That was for Catwoman. Catwoman. Yeah, for Catwoman. She thanked her agent. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, Holly Berry's the best in Hollywood. Yeah, best yeah ever actually, yeah. <laughs> like, Everybody I kind of low-key hate yeah. the Razzies. Oh, it's they're just, terrible. It's just a very easy target to be like, lol, your acting is bad. Well, and it's like, yeah. well... Their, I mean, their hit ratio for movies that are actually good, that people yeah. just kind of freak out and say are bad, is yeah. higher than it should be. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's like, well, sometimes a film is just is what it is. Yeah, I feel like the talented Mr. Ripley got nominated for Razzies, and I'm like, uh-uh. What? <laughs> Not on my watch. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations on your victory. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Sportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. Ah, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Great. Thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. Good 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 game.